Hey, what's up traders? It's Katia, founder of This Art of Trade. Now, welcome to this video. In this video, what I want to do is I want to cover engulfing candles or engulfing pattern. Now, you're going to notice that at some point, the most important thing in the market is to know who is in control. Is it the bulls or the bears? Now, once you know who is in control, you can decide whether you want to trade or not and in which direction you want to trade. So the first thing is always to know who is in control. Now, one way of knowing this is to look at price action. Price action is the only indicator telling you what's happening in the market. It's the only thing that could be reliable. All other indicators are based on price action or derived from price action. So when we look at raw price action, we can know what is happening in the market. And one of the most powerful pattern, I would say, in price action is the engulfing pattern. Now, this is something I started to trade with. It's the first thing I started doing when I was looking at price action. So I want to guide you exactly through what is the engulfing pattern and how to notice the perfect one. So if you haven't read the blog post with this, I recommend you check this out, desiretotrade.com forward slash engulfing, and you'll see exactly the blog post there. You'll have also the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. Now what I want to do is I want to go through a couple of examples of engulfing pattern and show you really what's, what's happening. Now the engulfing pattern has a few characteristics. First of all, you want to have a smaller candle, like this one here, and then a big candle in the opposite color or in the opposite direction, covering the whole previous body of the candle plus its wick. If it covers the body plus the wicks, it's ideal. So here we have a perfect example. As you can see, the buyers were buying a little bit from that time. And then at some point, the sellers for the first time came in the market with a big, big, big candlestick, bearish. Now they've been able to cover the move from the day before, the one before, and even the one before that. So that's a good setup. That's a perfect setup. Now, what I want to do is I want to go through a couple of examples of these candlestick patterns. And I want to show you which ones are good and which ones are not good. We have another perfect example here. As you can see, the bears were in control in that move. Then at some point, the bulls entered with the big candlestick. This candlestick was covering the whole body of the previous candlestick, plus its wick here. Now, it's okay if it doesn't cover the wick below because this is bullish. So what you want to make sure is that the high of the previous candlestick here is covered. That makes a good engulfing pattern. Here's another example. As you can see here, the market was pretty sideways for a few days. So no one was in control, but then the sellers entered with this big bearish candlesticks. Now this candlestick, of course, covered the, the whole body of the previous candle and e even the wick. So it's, it's even lower. Now this, I would say it's not a perfect setup simply because we've been in a sideways market. The engulfing pattern is better when it's at the top of a, of a, of a move. As you, as you can see here, it's at the top and it's going in the opposite direction. Here's at the bottom, going in the, in the opposite direction. Here's another example. As you can see, the bulls were in control. They've been able to push the price higher and higher. But then at some point, the bears came with a big candlestick. So the buyers came in selling aggressively. So what you can see is that from the height of this candlestick, compared to the height of this body of candlestick, the bears really took control at that moment. Now this was a perfect setup because it covered the whole body of the previous candlestick plus the wick, which doesn't appear here. But as you can see, the bears really took control. That's another good example. Now here's the interesting part. We even have a gap here. As you can see, the price opened higher than the close of this candlestick. And the sellers have been able to take control of all the previous days. So that's a perfect setup again. Here's another example. As you can see, the bears were in control, bringing the price down. They were pretty aggressive because we had some retracement and then price was still going down. Now at this point, the buyers took control by engulfing the previous body of this candlestick plus the wick. As you can see, the price closed higher than the high of this candlestick. Just gonna zoom in. The price closed higher than the high of this candlestick, which is good. And it covered the whole previous candlestick. Now this was a good setup because it's at the bottom of a trend. 
However, you can see that the body is not super good compared to this previous candlestick. Now, if the body was even bigger, that would have been a better sign. Now, here's another example. Again, the body is not so big, but it's covering the whole previous body. Now, the question is, could you trade these, can these two candlesticks? Yeah, you could definitely trade them. And the thing is, you would probably have to take profit along the way, as I always tell. So you don't have to have a super high take profit. You can take profit along the way to make sure that you benefit from the move or simply the partial move like you had here. So that for me would not be a losing trade because I would simply take profit somewhere here, close to this structure. Now, the thing with these kind of sick patterns is that you're going to see a lot of them, as I told you in the beginning. Now, the best ones are really covering the whole previous candlestick plus its wick. That's the idea of setup. The best ones are also going to be at the bottom or the top of a trend. Meaning if you have an uptrend and a bearish engulfing pattern, that's good. If you have a downtrend and a bullish engulfing pattern, that's good. Now, it doesn't have to be a huge downtrend. It can be just a move down. But you really want to have it at the bottom or at the top. Now, the question is, how do you combine this to trade them powerfully? Now, this is the key. And you have to combine this with support or resistance line or indicators. Because those patterns alone will not tell you what to do exactly. They're just an indication of who's having the control. But you have nothing to confirm that they're going to work. So you will, so you really want to use support and resistance line or indicators to confirm this. Of course, the easiest way is to draw a support line. So if you had a support at that level, plus the engulfing, then that could be a good way to enter a trade. The way you would enter this trade is putting your, your entry above the high, your stop loss below the lowest low, and you take profit at the next zone, which would be around here. Now, I know there's a few criteria to determine whether an engulfing pattern is good. So after you the checklist, you can download for free. And you can check out this artistrade.com for slash engulfing checklist, and you'll get the page where you can sign up to download the checklist. This is really going to be helpful because it's going to show you exactly what to look for, what to consider, and which step to take to enter the trade. So check this out. If you have any questions, just let me know. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help a lot. I wish to provide more content and more valuable trades. So check this out. Download the checklist because I know it's going to be super useful for you. And I'll see you soon.